The trick to playing this game is to be very silent, as quiet as a mouse. Best way to deactivate it is to come through here, so... Damn it! Crap. You know what? And by mouse, I mean a 500-foot-tall robot mouse with a grenade launcher, two flamethrowers, and a giant boombox playing Run DMC at 11. In my mind, that's as quiet as a mouse. My Adidas stomp on bad guys and incinerate them with every weapon available to me in Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Conviction. See, I, I even used a silencer in that one shot. He never heard it coming. Yeah, one thing with this game is that it's never clear what it is you're supposed to do. Like, like, give me a clue here, you know? See, how's Sam Fisher supposed to read that when it's behind him? You should give him a PDA or something with small text, with some clues as to his objective. Well, I eventually figured out my orders, and it said nothing about getting to the White House quietly. To be fair, we're watching my second playthrough. The first time I played, I actually uh, used a bit of stealth. I know, it's not normal for me. I typically like to play these games with both guns blazing. Or at least one really big gun. The best part about Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Conviction is the controls. They're excellent. And uh, that's, that's kind of important for a game like this because these, uh, these can get old fast. These stealth, these stealth games where you're really supposed to stay hidden and take people out with like uh, silencers and sneaking up behind them. This one is fantastically fun. Really, it, it, it absolutely is. And this is not exactly the style that I like. I tend to enjoy going through destroying everything in sight. That sound never gets old. Now, you can't go quite as berserk in this game as you can in Metal Gear Solid 4. Or berserk. If you watched my review of that one, you know I went through the entire game as much as I could with an M60. Metal Gear Solid 4, not Berserk. And Berserk, I went through the entire game with a laser pistol. This game has a nice balance between uh, playing stealthfully and actually just engaging in full-on combat. I'll turn the subtitles on here so we can see what the bad guys are saying, what warrants their doom. Yeah, see? that They have it coming. You can't feel bad for them. Now there's a real plot in the game uh, where some conspiracy, conspiracy with a conspiracy with some conspiracy on top with uh, like private weapons contractors and uh, some, some conspiracy with a side of conspiracy. As Sam Fisher, you conspire against conspiracy using conviction. And while this game has lots of weapons, they should give you the option to take out enemies by hitting them over the head with a hardcover version of The Hunt for Red October. If only Alec Baldwin and Harrison Ford could be your backup. Jack Ryan. Andrew Ryan. Wait a second. That's a conspiracy. Well, that's good enough for me. Rapture is a CIA cover-up. Frequently with these stealth games, they can get boring after a single playthrough. I found this one to be quite interesting, and they pack it with a lot of additional content. There's multiplayer, there's persistent elite creation challenges, where you do cool things to earn upgrade points for your weapons, and there's some additional ops in there and stuff. There's a lot to, there's a lot to keep you going with this game. Fisher, I used to work here. Security alert. Main power unit. Two, one. All right, a couple technical things here. When you see the little ghosting image appear, that's where enemies think you are. So you can then uh, slip away from them and duck into the shadows. When you take out enemies by sneaking up behind them or pulling them out of windows, you earn the ability to mark targets and automatically assassinate them. Some guns allow you to mark numerous targets at once, which come in very handy when you're trying to take out a crowded room full of people. And you're out of grenades because you've used them all for fun earlier in the level. Something I'm guilty of. I just like to see them explode. Not only are the levels extremely well designed, but they're fairly sizable too, giving you numerous options on how to tackle the level. I'm not always a big fan of these, but this one is cool. And extremely well made. I mean, they just got everything down from the controls to the audio design. And uh, when you get into the storyline, it's actually pretty interesting too. 
And that's Splinter Cell Conviction, highly recommended for fans of the stealth slash action video games. While the storyline is not very long, they give you numerous other things in the game to keep you busy. Very cool, and uh, let's take a look at my favorite level, where I felt that somebody was conspiring to advertise to me. 